good evening all so today we are going to discuss on the present lifestyle and why we are put into various troubles in this lifetime so so if someone asks what is the goal of life uh, i would say probably a material goal maybe i would say i want lot of wealth i want lot of property and everything what i say would be material in nature but in reality what each human being wants is peace no matter whatever activity he takes up in this life he wants to be peaceful he wants to enjoy what he does he wants to enjoy this life but uh, the present circumstances what we have created known as the political system and the way we handle people is um is one of the worst process what we can uh, worst situation what we can uh what we cannot actually imagine so to understand what act exactly is the problem why we are not able to remain peaceful uh in this existence we have to have a wide knowledge of the scriptures we have to understand the practicality of what we are doing and the rules and regulations have to be implemented properly and good faith good attitude and good qualities have to be developed in the among the children and the adult group so that system can function properly in a peaceful life in this world so let's start understanding uh what for we have been created what for we are here on this earth the real goal of life is to realize ourselves and lead a life which is pious divine and which is helpful to other human beings but we are put into various trouble uh because of our negative qualities and these negative qualities are more dominant in uh, politicians today and that's why we see that the rules which are formed are beneficial to one set of group and non beneficial to other set of group and when we realize this then what we have to try to do is we have to try to change the qualities of people and is it possible to change the qualities of other person it's not possible so we need to change our own qualities first and this process is nothing but the spiritual process and unless and until each individual becomes spiritual there is no possibility of peace in this world for this we have to understand that the material world around us is temporary in nature and the happiness what we receive from this material world is also temporary and if we need eternal happiness that can happen only by exchange of love and affection sharing of material things around us so everything what is required in this life has been provided by us by the nature all the food grains and things have been provided but still we fight with each other for even basic necessities of life and that's the reason we are put into various kinds of trouble and moreover the greed and jealousy to accumulate more than what is required or the fear and insecurity of what would happen to our children what about their marriage what would happen in my old age so all these fear is the real cause of our ourselves not being peaceful in this world so to get out of all this fear the real understanding of the self and its intimate relationship with the supreme self whom we call god is essential now what is god why do we need a concept of god what is the necessity of god so if god was god did not exist then anybody could do anything i cannot say that the other person is wrong 
or his acts are wrong but we know that there are many activities which are wrong and the definition of a wrong deed is an activity which hurts the consciousness of other person is a wrong deed now the truth is same for each and every individual for example if somebody pinches me it hurts me and this is true with each and every individual similarly if somebody cheats me i feel bad so similarly the truth is same to each and every but even though we know all these things but still we are not able to follow and the reason for this is because we have not been able to come out of our desires desires to enjoy material things it's true that our children would demand material comforts because they have the problem of demonstration effect they are affected by it and we ourselves in our childhood would have demanded many things but it has to this level of consciousness have to be grown in each and every individual and we have to realize that the material world around us is temporary in nature so anything what is material cannot give permanent happiness and permanent happiness is possible only when we give a conscious being uh like us so to understand the problems let's first uh, clarify certain things many of us think that money is the actual problem but in fact money is not the actual problem it's the attitude of people and it's the qualities of people now say suppose i have 1 crore rupee with me but still i see many people who are without food and if i don't have compassion and if i don't have the thought that these people should also le- lead a normal life as we are leading then no matter how much i accumulate i would not utilize it and such a money is of no use similarly it's true with material products also even though what i say might be difficult to follow but still this is the truth this is what the scriptures are trying to say there are certain things which we need to give more priority than other things but due to our lust due to our passion due to our desires we are not able to do so and to get to the level where we are completely uh, conscious of everything what is happening around us and we are in complete divine nature we have to restrict ourselves we have to come to the level of utmost maturity where we can help each and every person around us to the extent possible and when all human beings turn so then uh, the same earth can become a heaven but at present nobody would accept it as worse than hell so the first thing is money is not the problem in this world but the wrong understanding among people that it is money uh, which can fetch us happiness is the cause of all problems other than this there are problems related to uh, sexual abuse and cheating deceit and such things and all these things happen because of our negative qualities and these things can be judged with the help of astrology that a person could do cheating in which aspect of life uh he would be deceived in which aspect of life so let's understand what we can do to make the same world a better place to live now we have to understand that ultimately we are not going to take back anything from this world but most of us forget this or are not able to remember this at all moment and this is the uh, primary cause of all suffering the nature has set rules it has physical laws moral laws and spiritual laws 
and whosoever does not follow it is put to lot of distress in this lifetime and there are many other dimensions to this world which we have not yet understood and which has to be simply followed on the basis of faith like there are devatas and many other deities which are controlling our uh, human functions which are controlling the rain which are controlling the clouds formation so this has to be accepted the reason being now i do not have control over my digestive system i have a human body which is being controlled by various energies and various forces and who is the controller of these forces energy on its own does not work unless and until it is utilized by a conscious being so i am conscious of myself uh, each living entity around me is conscious uh, conscious of their self so similarly a conscious being is controlling my process within my human body and these are called the devatas so you can call it by any name you can call it as angels but there are divine beings who are controlling many of the processes on earth and the scriptures say that we are supposed to honor them it's simply like this uh, if we go to a government office we are supposed to honor the government officials because they have been given the authority to do certain work of us which is important similarly these people these divine beings are taking care of our needs now one might say well i don't think so but it is true if we don't have proper rain then we won't be able to enjoy water and utilize water and without water life will become highly difficult so there are food crops which grow because of rain there is no sunlight there is no eyesight if there was no moon then probably the circulation within the body would not take place the circulation of blood and water within the body would not take place so each of these planets and uh, external physical objects what we see are conscious beings and they are controlling the various processes on earth so our scriptures say that every day we are supposed to remember them and show gratitude to them and it's because of this that the hindu scriptures and even bible and quran does uh, say that uh, there are divine beings who have to be uh, pleased and each religion aims at pleasing such uh, divine beings but the approach and the process might be different but the analogy the purpose behind it is the same in each and every religion religion is simply like Uh, various schools uh, one might be a topper from one particular school but what every school tries to teach is the same thing but we do not realize this and this religious conflicts also becomes a problem in our country and this also uh, makes us unhappy uh, faith in divine is uh, not something which should be criticized and it is highly important there are many times in life where we are completely distressed and we do not know what is right and what is wrong in our life even our own relatives and parents uh sometimes situations are created in such a way that they neglect us and in such cases it is the divine grace which helps us so faith of any kind even upon a stone even upon a football or a bag is good because faith gives us confidence faith gives us uh, some kind of belief or let's say some kind of uh, self assurance to lead life comfortably on this earth so we were discussing that today a lack of money has become a problem and even if people have money they are not ready to spend because of the fear of uh, not having money in their future time 
and all this is because of lack of understanding of one vital thing that we are beyond this body and we do not even if we lose our body we are not going to die because the soul is beyond death and birth but it's not so easy for uh, common people to understand and to follow it and that's the reason god sends lot of messengers to this world to make people understand that we are all divine beings and if we realize this divinity within us then that itself will bring all the required uh, good qualities and talents within us now the talents might be different uh, there can be a person who is highly illiterate but if he has divine qualities then somehow he will survive in this world but on the other hand a person might be highly educated but if he does not follow the moral codes if he does not have good qualities then no matter how much educated he is he has to take and he would not get the recognition from the society what even an illiterate doing some good service to the society would get and moreover we are all afraid of our image if we don't have money then what would others say uh, if i don't accumulate property what others would say and this has no relevance in reality because it all depends upon how much uh, peaceful a person is now most of the politicians today who have accumulated uh, money by wrong means they think that they are comfortable but on behind of their mind they always are in fear about being caught because their own colleagues would uh, make sure that uh, they are caught some day because this game of money to competition jealousy greed and ultimately to destruction and this is what is happening in the higher level political uh, parties and moreover due to the fear of insecurity of money we keep committing more and more mistakes and this is happening even in the lower level uh, grade where even workers due to the fear of not able to feed their family not able to keep their family in good condition they or uh, due to fear cheat or do some mistake and they get caught and they suffer in life to a great extent and all this is because we have fundamentally lost the divine quality of loving each other we separate ourselves as families and this barrier has to be broken if we have to lead a peaceful life we are one family but uh many of us use these uh, lines and sentences simply for sake of uh, generating income but that's not true uh, the divinity within us people who are divine can understand the real sense of what these statements uh, mean because our scriptures guide us towards oneness and it's highly important for human being to realize this before he leaves this body because the laws of nature are so strong that he has to come back if he does any mistake to reap the reactions but the circumstances what we have created today's modern world it's so difficult to follow the spiritual path people having two or three children are not able to follow the spiritual path because they have to feed their children and for sake of feeding they have to go for work and if they go for work they would be exploited because the most of the authority has gone to corrupt people when i say corrupt it simply means that the person's qualities are not divine the person is not with an intention that the other person should also lead life comfortably and this sense of oneness and love and affection is what is lacking and it is because of this all of us are suffering in this world but most of us don't realize due to our mechanical life and all these things have just become 
words for pleasing each other but it is not me our great acharyas like shankaracharya and madhva and ramanuja propagated the same message they said that divine and god is within each and every person and by devoting ourselves to god by doing things as a service to the society we all can lead a peaceful life but this simple message even though seems to be simple is very difficult to be implemented and the western world has gone beyond control so they are trying to dominate us and we people are also not trying to think what the reality of life is even in the west they do the same things what we do here but those people are paid more why this difference nobody asks a question they would say they are paid in dollars now dollars is only a mode of currency mode of transaction but the activities what is being done here is being done there people they sleep mate and defend we also do the same and it is for these mere necessities of life both of us are working then why this difference in the valuation of the same kind of activities it's simply to uh, keep control over the other country that's all it's a way to dominate a group of people and if we uh, think deeper this country division is also useless it has no sense because a, a country or a boundary cannot become a barrier but today even that has become a barrier we have a clash with pakistan and other countries for sake of mere material things uh, they threaten each other they threaten us that they would uh, destroy the country and uh, cheat and all this terrorism is taking place just because all this we have lost the sense of oneness the sense of the divinity within us we are divine beings and this understanding is lacking in most of us so it is only spiritual process spiritual understanding which can bring unity in this world and if we give more importance to material things around us than human beings then there is going to be problem and if we are going to place a person more important than the divine again there can be a problem because that per- person might not be a perfect person so this hierarchy has to be understood by each and every living entity if he has to be peaceful material things are less conscious beings and the supreme conscious being whom we call god we can call it him as jesus allah any name all names suits him so that consciousness is the highest and that's more important than individual beings so if this hierarchy is understood by each of us then no matter what kind of circumstance is around us we can remain in peace and it's not that uh people who understand this but they think that well when life is nothing so why not dominate others and exploit others and cheat others now here is where the laws of nature have been made so strict the laws of laws of nature are highly strict and this can be understood with the help of scriptures and the scripture says that if a particular person does a particular then he is punished without fail but the time cannot be fixed that if he does the mistake today he would be punished right now the time can vary uh the reason being it happens in this world also say if a mistake has taken place or somebody has cheated other person it takes time for the police people to find out that uh, such an event has taken place and then the person is punished so there is a time gap but in our country and in the present world there are many people who have cheated and they are not uh, given justice proper justice then uh, would it be right to say that there is no divine or there is no god it's not so we see in this world that many people are born without leg eyesight born without parents they are poor uh, they don't get proper education 
their brain does not function well there are mental troubles and so many events happen which uh, we cannot give a rational explanation why such things happen and our scriptures say that it's simply because of the deeds what we have performed in our previous life so the example what i just gave before if i have done a mistake today and i have not uh, atoned for my mistake then there is a possibility that i have to reap the reaction of my deed my wrong deed and it can happen in any uh, part of life any time in my life then because human beings approximately live 80 years of age if i make a major mistake at age of 20 or 21 maybe that would affect me at the age of 60 so the purpose of the divine is not to punish us the purpose of the divine is to make us realize that we are actually divine and we are not supposed to do so uh, it's true with the uh, concept of putting a person behind bars now the law does not want to punish anybody but the law wants to make sure that nobody uh, is given an authority to do a mistake and they should not think that the government will be uh, quiet even if they make even if they make uh, keep making mistakes and not only that people who are doing mistakes they are not in right understanding of life so they should be given an opportunity to correct themselves sit and watching they have done and they have to be quarantined from the general public so that the other public are not affected because of their present level of mentality and this is why people are put to behind bars so the law does not want to punish anyone but if we make mistakes the law tries to punish us but again the law system in our country is so bad today that even lawyers and judges are cheating the general public it all happens because of the individual qualities and that's why i said that this world can become peaceful only if each and every individual realizes his divine nature if he gets out of his negative qualities and passionate qualities and comes to the level of goodness it is only then it is possible that we can lead a peaceful life otherwise simply can only dream a world where uh, tigers and cheetahs are dancing together with human beings otherwise the survival of the fittest as given by darwin theory would only apply and we would keep fighting with each other kill each other cheat each other and very soon we can see that uh, this world would be- become a nice graveyard so individual development of qualities is highly important and this was the major re- reason why the ancient seers uh, stressed more on a moral code of conduct more than the knowledge a person has now everybody has some or the other talent a uh, few people can you know, clean the house well there are few people who are talented uh, with singing abilities good voice good speech good communication skills there are good accountants few people can administer well few people can dominate well so all these qualities are important but am i going to use this quality as a service or for sake of my satisfaction personal satisfaction and satisfaction of my personal desires or to cheat others or to destroy others now this is the question if my qualities and talents are used by me for serving others then no matter uh, even if i am not rewarded but still the divine takes care of me but on the other hand if i keep doing things for satisfying my own personal self then probably i am the only person who can remain happy for some time but the nature has its own ways to correct us the nature has strict laws to correct us the circumstances would be created in such a way that uh, i would lose my peace and if i am going to use my qualities and talents for cheating others putting them into 
difficulties then right from the beginning not only i am going to be uh, in distress but even in later part of life i cannot lead a peaceful life so this is the basic uh, thing which we all have forgot and it is because of lack of faith in the presence of divine uh, many people say that all this uh, what is said in vedanta is only in sanskrit sanskrit is simply a language to communicate so it is not sanskrit which makes the scriptures content which makes the scriptures divine in same sanskrit there are many manuals which speak on uh, the uh, sexuality of a person so does sanskrit become divine because of these things so it's only the content sanskrit or any language it's only a material form to communicate with other people so the fight that uh, we would not learn hindi in the south india or uh, uh, people in north saying that we won't learn the south indian languages it's simply a wrong misconception and wrong understanding of life in reality any language is can be divine provided the contents which are written with the help of the language is divine which is helping humanity to develop their consciousness and good qualities so yes sanskrit was a very ancient language so many of the written in sanskrit and that's why we respect that language but uh, saying that english is a commercial language it's not commercial language it's a mode of communication but the mentality of human beings have become commercial so we have started uh, dealing with material things with an intention to accumulate more and more and because communication takes place in english all over the world today so we say that english is a commercial language uh, same english can be used for communicating divine things to express love and affection so it's not the language which is which is important it's the message through the language which is more important so see the talents what we have has been given to us by the divine and we are not the one who has created the talent or developed the talent now if a person has a good voice he hasn't done anything to have a good voice it's just bestowed or given to him because of his uh, good past deeds so when it is the divine who is blessing us with talents and abilities then to ask for a reward for our talents and ability is not in right understanding or is not right maturity of life and because we do not follow our core competence in sanskrit it's technically called the swadharma when a person follows his swadharma or core competence in terms then he is happy with the work he does uh, in us and western countries there are many people who uh, died due to heart attack on monday morning and the research says that it's because they do not enjoy the work what they do because our whole mentality is to enjoy the reward out of the work and not the work itself say suppose a person has a talent to sing well but because he knows that uh, if he chooses this profession he would not be paid properly so he chooses some other profession he is not only frustrated because of the profession because that doesn't suit his nature his whole aim remains in accumulating out of that job so not only his life becomes frustrated but still he has to spend whatever he earns to enjoy and he actually enjoys singing so in tamil nadu if we see spb balasubramanyam is one of the famous singers he skipped his and he was a b dropout so he dropped from b doing from uh, engineering 
and he took to singing because that was his natural talent but most of us do not follow our natural talent because the system has been created in such a way that we are forced to work for the benefit of few cruel minded people who exploit others for their own benefits and all this can be with the help of astrology that how a person would behave in what aspect of life so if we see most of the politicians charts we we can uh, very clearly understand that they would have a very bad placement of uh, the demoniac natured rahu so if rahu is placed in particular house it makes the person deceive others in that particular aspect of life and if we understand all this we can gradually come out of those negative uh, results similarly uh, where mars is placed that person would be uh, highly passionate in that particular activity so this can be analyzed and understood with the help of astrology and that's the reason i gave this signs to the world so that we can understand where we are going wrong what we are supposed to do to correct ourselves what is our natural ability and talent which if we follow we can not only be peaceful we can also earn sufficiently to lead a peaceful life moreover it's not necessary that everybody should earn more there can be people who can earn less but what has to be changed is if a person is ill no matter he is good or bad he has to be helped and that nature is not yet developed in the society if we are put into some kind of loss we neglect the society and this again is because of a uh, lack of placing importance uh, to human beings so we give since we give more importance to the material pleasures of our own requirements and that's why we forget the society's requirements again uh, whatever i am trying to say might seem to be difficult to follow but the reality is because we do not follow we are put into lot of difficulties in this life people who are highly mature can very easily understand this that equality love affection compassion generosity these divine qualities within us is what is going to help us lead life comfortably if not we can simply uh we can only simply dream of garden of eden and it cannot become a reality if this has to become a reality then each one of us have to change as gandhi ji says that we have to be the change if we want to change see the change in the outside world so the change has to come within us unless and until this happens there is no possibility of peace in the world so with this brief introduction let's try to understand why people suffer from various kinds of diseases now here our ancient seers uh, understood that the uh, planetary positions at the time of birth of a person does affect his health kind of mentality kind of talents kind of diseases he would have and so on and by research and study of those scriptures we can conclude that it is true to a great extent it's not difficult to understand that uh, planets can influence us in this life because we see that moon influences the tides in the ocean when it can influence such a huge body why cannot it influence the water flow in our body similarly sun gives energy to the whole world the photosynthesis within plants happen because of the presence of sun 
Now, if sun can energize all these things around us, then why cannot it uh, energize our soul or our body, our bone structure, the purity of the soul? These planets have high level of influence on us and their bad placements in a person's horoscope does indicate that the person would suffer from various kinds of diseases. And one might ask that why should I accept it? It could be a way of earning money. Astrology would uh, become a way of earning money. Why should I accept astrology? So then, for all those critics, we simply say that study this sign. We pe you people can understand very clearly that it is true. The kind of circumstances what a person would be put can also be found with the help of astrology. So, unless and until we study the subject completely or at least understand what it is trying to say, it's not right to uh, debate upon it or to criticize the subject. Because the ancient seers and Maharishis did lot of penance and sacrifice to understand these uh, divine influences on human beings. So for the benefit of the human mankind, they wrote it in the books, they wrote it in the scriptures. And most of the scriptures got lost and got destroyed over the period of time. And with the amount of scriptures what we have, uh, many of the good noble minded people have uh, translated it into various languages so that all can get benefited. And it's always intelligence and logical to accept what our ancestors and elders say because they have experienced life better than us. So, and that's why our, the scriptures say that we have to honor all our elders no matter what their actual qualities are. But yes, we can try to correct them by praying to divine, praying to God. So, to sum it up, we can say that to make this world a heaven is in our hands. God has given us everything, a per perfect platform to lead a peaceful life. But it all depends upon us how we are going to utilize the natural resources by sharing it with each other so that we can lead a comfortable life. As I said, everybody has some natural talents for a human being to sit idle. And if he is able to do, then he has to be a very great soul. Like Ramana Maharishi was able to meditate for hours together because he understood that even if he does not work, if he does not work, then it's not going to make any change in the universe. In fact, most of the problems occur when we start doing something. Because when we have to do an action, if we are completely focusing upon the results of the action, the results might not be as expected because various other factors influence the result. So Ramana Maharishi understood that inaction is the best action because he was in complete divine bliss when he left the body, when his low soul left the body. So, even in Bhagavad Gita, we say that a person who is able to understand inaction in action and action in inaction is said to be an intelligent person. So, one might ask, uh, this seems to be illogical, then how would the uh, material progress happen? Now, for example, if television was not found, was it going to influence human beings in any way? People would still live. If aeroplanes were not found out, people would have still lived life. But because aeroplanes have been found out today, there are few people who want to fly, but due to lack of income, they are not able to fly and that has become a problem for them. That has become a reason for depression for them. Because there are colleagues who have traveled by aeroplanes. So it's true with any material development. Material development 
cannot because it develops a false ego that we are the doers of activity. In fact, it's the nature which does all the activities. But uh, with blossoming of the intellect and consciousness, these things can become clear to each and every individual. And for this, lot of effort have to be taken by noble souls to propagate this message to the outside world so that people understand, realize and lead life peacefully. Thank you.